Okay. Let's talk about delayed gratification. I'm having a conversation with one of my partners, who's a professional bodybuilder. Well, I take that back. He's not a professional bodybuilder, but because of the time, uh, the gym memberships, the training, the meals, uh, the supplements that he's bought and all of this money he's put off into uh, getting better at his craft, uh, he should be a professional bodybuilder by now. Um, the thing is, it ain't that he ain't good enough. It's just that he's never finally or never completed the task at hand, right? So he, he hasn't uh, put in the work to see the result to actually get, uh, become a professional bodybuilder. The point I'm trying to make is this, um, we have to remember our why. Cause that's the first question I asked him, like why haven't you become a professional bodybuilder? Why do you think, right? And the whole thing goes back to the why. Because, you know, him, me, people, us, we all come into different situations bright eyed and bushy tail because of whatever it is that's at the, 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 the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, the big prize, right? And we all excited about that when we get started, but along the way, a lot of times we lose, we lose focus, right? So the point I'm trying to make is we got to always remember to keep our eyes on the prize. Right? Because as you get into the flow of whatever it is that you're up against, you're going to find different stuff that's going to come in your way, different distractions. You know? I mean, I know people who had that perfect relationship. They was looking for it, high and low. And guess what? Once they found it, they started looking other places. Right? You've been in situations, I've seen situations where a person just be so excited about getting this job. They're looking forward to this interview. Right? And they get the job. Six months later, they want to cuss out the boss. They want to come in late. They want to be running this show. Don't show up to work. It don't work like that. So the whole thing is that you got to remember there's going to be distractions along the way. It's always going to be distractions. But the name of the game is to keep your eye on the prize. If you lose sight of the prize, you lose out on everything. You know, stop halfway through and end up with nothing. Right? So understand that that's the name of the game. There's always going to be smoke and mirrors. You know, it's just that you need to keep in mind not to... Um, Step into, uh, not to let a let, let a short term moment of indecision lead to a long term bad decision. It's that simple. We got issues with running around trying to be this or that for everybody and their mama. Yeah, understand and remember that the homies is looking, your girl she looking, your kids is looking, mama looking. I get it. So we just need to understand that in the midst of all of that, and it's a lot of pressure on you, you know, you still a legend in God's eyes no matter what. So take a chill pill, take a load off and get back with the basics. Go ahead and start over, reset, and dig back in. The whole name of the game is wash, rinse, and repeat, and remember your why in the first place.